Okay, question number five. You are given a two-way table, and、uh, so the the sum is given in the last row and the last column, and、uh, those four numbers A, B, C, D in between is something that you need to figure out. So given that if the value of A is ten, then what should the value of B, C, and D be? So If a equals to ten, which means let me replace this, a by ten, and how two way tables works is like for each direction you are going,、um, the column before the last one when you add a add them all up will be the result in the last column. So let's look at the first row here. I have three columns here, and、uh, I got a as ten. I don't know what b is. But the last column is two hundred, which means a plus b, it needs to add up to, two hundred. So in this case, b will have to equal to a hundred and ninety. And yeah. So when you put a hundred and ninety here, you see that one plus a hundred ninety is two hundred. So likewise, to find the c, what we need to look is. The vertical direction. So the first two columns you add them together will be the result of the last column. So ten plus c should equal to two hundred, which tells you c should also be a hundred and ninety. Okay. So when c is a hundred and ninety, you put in there, you will see the last one. Yes, a hundred ninety plus d should equal to two hundred, which give you the answer of d, which is just ten. Okay. So you do the same trick. When a is twenty, so when a is twenty, you put here, then b should be one eighty. If b is one eighty, and to find the c is also one eighty, right? Because in this direction, twenty plus c should equals to two hundred, and the last one, if c is one eighty, then d should be twenty. It's in that direction. So question next one. Okay, this one requires to、uh, require you to know the formula for calculating the mean of the sample mean and、uh, the standard deviation of the sample mean. So the first question: What is the standard deviation for the average time? So this one for the average time. The standard deviation for the average of time. Okay, so you use this one. The formula to that is the the sam the sample deviation. The sample mean deviation would be the deviation of the whole population divided by the square root of the sample size. Okay, so the standard deviation given is one point two seven. Square root of sample size one eighty, okay, and、uh, you are asked to round your answer to three decimal places, so the answer is zero point zero nine five. And then the next one, since this sample mean they follow the normal distribution, so you are asked to use the ninety five part of the. Sixty-eight, ninety-five, ninety-nine point nine, up point seven rules to describe the variability of the sample mean. So, when you have the normal distribution, the bell-shaped curve looks like this.、Mm, doesn't look nice. Oh so, yes, this is more like it, like this. So within one standard deviation. It's sixty-eight, and within two standard deviation, two standard deviation. This whole part will cover ninety-five percent of all the possible values. So therefore, to calculate the lower bound of this ninety-five percent, 
what we need to do is just use the value. The sample mean subtract two times the sample standard deviation. Likewise, for the upper pound, you use the mean of the sample mean plus two times the standard deviation of the sample mean. Okay, so when you do that, the first one. What is the mean of the sample mean? It's the same as the population mean. So this part, you, you really need to be familiar with this formula and everything uh, we learned in class to get a correct answer. So the mean mu here, uh, population mean, is 6.74 subtract two times the sample mean standard deviation which is 0 0.095 okay so the answer round it up to three decimal places so 6.550 so for example if you have an answer that's actually uh, less than three decimal places you will have to put extra zero behind that okay so likewise for the for the upper we do the same thing we find the answer is 6.930 so 95% of the time we'll expect the sample mean to be between 6.550 and 6.930 the last one what is the probability that your average will be below 6.9 hours okay so now this is a uh, something we would need to use the z table so we will know like what's the probability of this happen when our sample mean is actually below 6.9 hours so to use the z table of course we have to find the z table or uh, z score first right so we need to find the z score for this number 6.9 hours so the formula for z score is always this number you want to calculate subtract the mean and divide it by the standard deviation okay so this value we're looking at is 6.9 the sample mean is the population mean which is 6.74 and divided by the standard deviation for the sample mean which is 0 0.095 and the answer is 1.684 and uh, if you look at the z table the probability of our answer less than 1.68 Four is one point six four zero point nine five three five four decimal places. Okay, so the Z score look it's it's about here so you add all the area below that so the z table tells you the answer is about 95 percent